Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we will be continuing on with our constructions IXL work. Going to IXL B10 uh, which just focuses on the construction of a perpendicular bisector. Now in class we went over a few uh, major types of constructions, uh, specifically six of them that we really focused on uh, and we're going to focus on kind of the first main one here as the perpendicular bisector. So here we have the steps on how to do it, and you can follow them along. Of course, you can just read this for your reference and pause the video. Uh, but essentially what you have here is you start off with a line segment. You use a compass to draw uh, an arc. Now, for our IXL purposes, uh, they have circles, not just the arc right here, um, as depicted in the little diagram, but they draw entire circles. Totally fine, totally valid. Uh, just wanted to clarify that. Uh, you do that for both sides, and then you draw a line where those two circles or arcs intersect, just like that. And that is going to be where the uh, uh, where the line segment is bisected, meaning cut in half, uh, exactly vertical, so perpendicular, uh, completely straight up and down. So we'll come back here, and this one just says mark the midpoint of AB. Okay. Well, the midpoint of AB is going to be between uh, the, the halfway point between A and B. So we'll just get a point here, click in the middle, and that is it. Already up to 53. This one's a very quick IXL. The diagram below shows a nearly completed construction of the midpoints of AB. Complete the construction. So um, what you're going to find with these series of construction IXLs is they start you pretty much at the end of the, co of the construction and you complete maybe the last step and then you work your way back. So for this second problem, then they erased one of the steps and said, okay, now do the last couple steps. So the next problem will be erasing another one and say, okay, complete the last few steps, et cetera, et cetera. So this one just wants us to find the uh, midpoint here with the line. So we're gonna just choose a line. The line's gonna go through that intersection point and this intersection point. That is it, already up to an 80. The diagram below shows a partially completed construction of the perpendicular bisector of AB, complete the construction. So we see here we have a line and uh, our two arcs, and over here it looks like we have a line and just one of our arcs or one of our circles. So that means we gotta create the other arc or the other circle. So we'll click on circle. We want it to have the same radius as this circle. So we'll click here and click uh, point B and now we have both of our arcs right we have this arc right here and we have this arc right here and then we're just going to complete the construction again with the intersection points and we'll do points right here points right here get the line just like the last problem and there you go submit already at 91 easy easy and this one is uh, same thing except this time they don't give you either one of our arcs. They just give us our line segment. So we're gonna do circle, circle, circle. Um, again, same radius, so we're gonna still click on circle. So we'll click on both points again. Shows up there. We'll do points for the intersection. And we'll do a line like that and submit up to 97. And then it's just a repeat of the same one. So I'll let you practice. Once you finish this one, you get up to a smart score of 100. And that is all for the video today. Study hard, and I'll see you next time for the next constructions video. Take care. Goodbye.